maybe I should have came in here because <clears throat> while wow, I'm already in, like in a bad mood and agitated and feel like my day is ruined. And it's like, wow. During the time I'm doing a video, oh, she keeps coming in and out, in and out, dealing with making copies and stuff. So, I know they have priority because they're the teachers and whatever, but, you know. I'm just, I wish just, I wish it was just all one video. You know, I felt like if I could sit down, I might have to do all these videos all over again. Um, maybe not, maybe I'll just, you know, be separate parts of, since, you know, I kept getting interrupted. So, um, well, I didn't, I didn't foresee or realize that, because, I mean, I, they stay as long as they want, I guess, but I was in the wrong spot, you know, at the wrong time. And what I mean by that is, like, don't take it, oh, you're not supposed to be in there or whatever. That's what the online person trying to say. You weren't supposed to be in there. And they try to talk to you like a child and stuff. And so... I felt like I needed to just vent. I felt like I just needed to vent so I wouldn't explode or go off, you know, or me to get frustrated and just leave or make a drastic decision, be like, why well, I quit my job or, or something like that, um, just being frustrated. But, um, It's like, I feel bad about the, all of society making it, making me feel like as if there's something wrong with me, or I should be considered the most hated, or I'm the worst person in existence, you know, or they try to just make me look super, way worse than the type of person I actually am, you know. But anyway, I was trying to say, like, if a narcissistic control freak fake friend would say something like, I don't care how, um, if they said that they don't care how, um, what time you need to talk, you know, they're always there. And then, as quick as they say that, then um, as quick as they say that, then you know they, they turn against you and you and, and ghost you, you know, or think they're punishing you with the silent treatment, and leave you wonder what you did, leave you to wonder what you did or said that was wrong. Or sometimes they'll wait till you're in the biggest crisis to come on to being a friend, or wait till you they're in the, you're in the biggest crisis to turn it turn against turn you know turn that friendship away from you. You know, so um, Yeah, I didn't know that she was in there making copies. I would have gone somewhere else, you know, but I felt like if I could sit somewhere comfortable and, um, you know, maybe I should have waited till later or something. <laughs> so, I mean, to vent. 
what I'm going through so I won't have like a mental or emotional breakdown, you, you know, and one thing with narcissistic abusers is they, they feel like you deserve to be, that, especially the religious narcs, they feel like as if you deserve harsh rebuke, public rebuke in front of everybody, or you deserve stern rebuke in front of, in front of everybody. <clears throat> and they think that they're God punishing you. You know, so... <clears throat> And one thing about um, narcissistic business owners, and sometimes they might be related to gang stalking or they might be a perp, is it that they um, would do something like, you're the only customer they treats bad and you wonder why they have so many excellent reviews on their business. Like it could be a restaurant or um, a flower selling business or, and they're successful with it and got a lot of reviews and you wonder why you're the only one, you know, singled out or treated so bad. And then people will think that you, you better not dare speak out against that person because that person, you know, has a great reputation and stuff like that, but people can ruin my reputation, <clears throat> you know, anytime they want. So, you know, I wish I could fully express how I've been feeling lately, but you know, I gotta get back to work.